Hi everyone, welcome back to Creative Java Programming. In this video, I will show you how to install Eclipse IDE and Apache Tomcat server in your Windows machine, right? So let's start the video. So we will use zip files, so you don't have to install anything. Just extract and run. So first we will download Eclipse zip file. Right after then we will download Apache Tomcat zip file. So first let's download the Eclipse ID. So just type download Eclipse hit on enter. Here you can see the official website eclipse.org. Right. So click on Eclipse Downloads and uh, here you can see where we have to go, download, download packages, right, click on that and here you can see Eclipse ID for Enterprise Java and Web Developers, right. So these tools for developers working with Java and web applications. So depending upon your operating system, you can download, right? So I am using Windows system in my PC, right? So I will download this Windows. So click on that. And here, just click on download button, right? Thank you for your downloads. Now, downloading is started, right? So, let's download the zip file of Apache Tomcat server, right? So, just type download Tomcat. Hit on enter. Here you can see Apache Tomcat, right? The official website tomcat.opoche.org. Click on that. And here you can see the latest version Tomcat 11. Right? So scroll down. And here you can see binary distributions. So what we have to download here? We have to download Windows zip file. Right? So click on that. Here you can see downloading is started, right? Now you can see our Apache Tomcat server is downloaded, right? So just click here you can see this is in zip file. So zip file is never installed. We have to extract that zip file right before using it. So just select that zip file and right click and copy or cut and uh, I am going to paste in my F drive here. I will create a new folder Eclipse 2025. Right? Paste it here. So just extract here right click and extract here now here you can see our tomcat now so here you can see our download is completed right so open in folders and copy that you cut i am going to cut and paste in my app drive eclipse 2025. Where is it? Here. And I am going to paste it here. Right. So just extract that Eclipse zip file, extract here. Here you can see Eclipse is new folder created, right? That is Eclipse. So here you can see Eclipse application. So this is the exe file. Double click on that. Now you can see 
our eclipse id is going to launch here right once it asks for your workspace select a folder where you want to store your projects right so here you can see you can change the directory you can keep it by default or you can change so i am going to here change and i will store my all the programs and projects in my f drive so i will first create here a new folder so just press control shift n new folder is created right give name so eclipse 2025 right so select that folder here you can see eclipse web project 2025 right so just launch it because why i am giving web project because we are going to create web application using java jsp servlets right so just click on launch button and here you can see eclipse id is starting right that's it no installation no hassle just extract and run why i have downloaded zip file no messy installation just extract and run no admin permissions needed perfect for beginners right for table setup move it anywhere anytime so let's see how to configure tomcat in eclipse right so this is your welcome page right so close welcome page right and firstly i'm going to change this theme right so how to change the theme go to window go to preferences and uh, here where we have to go go to just general setting here you can see appearance right and you can see theme so just click on light now apply apply and close don't restart apply and close now you can see our theme is changed right let's see how to configure tomcat in eclipse so just go to window and click on show view right and go to servers right so select servers and double click on that now you can see giving no servers are available click this link to create a new server so just click on that and here what we have to do select apache and select tomcat version so i have downloaded tomcat 11 so select tomcat 11 right and just click on next button and here we have to select tomcat installation directory where we have extracted our zip file so i have extracted in my f drive i have created eclipse 2025 and here i have install uh, extract apache tomcat so double click on that and till bin right so select this directory and select folder now workspace default jerry okay install jerry click on installed jerry here you can see i have added jdk 23 right 
so in your case there will be no ready case so what you have to do you have to just click on edit button and select so first i am going to remove this jdk here from so in case in your case there will be no jdk right so how to do let's click on edit button click on next standard vm and here you have to select jdk so i have uh, installed jdk in my c drive program files java jdk here you can see jdk 23 right so select that uh, jdk open till bin select so just click on finish button now select this jdk 23 just click on apply apply and close here select jdk 23 just click on finish button now you can see tomcat version 11 server at local host right go to the server tab in eclipse here and uh, just right click and just start right click on that allow access here you can see tomcat server at local host started right let's create a java web project so just go to file menu just create go to new and here we have to select dynamic web project give project name first web app right here you can see apache tomcat 11 dynamic web module 6.1 right so just click on finish button here you can see first web app go to src main java web app right so select web app create here a html file give file name like index.html let's write here first web app h1 first demo web app right so whenever you are creating your first dynamic web project ensure that you have selected web project dynamic module version 5 so how to check and change let's see just select first project go to properties and go to project faces right and here dynamic web module select version here 5 right and just click on apply and close and here java version if you want to change you can also change so here it's taking jdk 17 right so select that and apply and apply close now just right click and where we have to go run edge run on server choose an existing server right select that and here tomcat 11 we have configured right so select and just click on next button now you can see whatever you have created your first project 
it is already taken right configured here first babip so select and just simply click on finish button now you can see our web project is running first demo web app right now you are ready to develop java web application like pro right if this tutorial helped you so like subscribe and comment what you want to learn next see you in the next video till then keep learning keep exploring keep coding bye bye take care thanks for watching